A coach's main job is to reawaken a spirit in which the players can blend together effortlessly. After years of experimenting, I discovered that the more I tried to exert power directly, the less powerful I became. I learned to dial back my ego and distribute power as widely as possible without surrendering final authority. Although basketball teams are not officially tribes, they share many of the same characteristics and develop along much the same lines. Always keep an open mind and a compassionate heart. Approach the game with no preset agendas and you'll probably come away surprised at your overall efforts. As a leader, your job is to do everything in your power to create the perfect conditions for success by benching your ego and inspiring your team to play the game the right way. But at some point, you need to let go and turn yourself over to the basketball gods. The soul of success is surrendering to what is. As a young player, you tend to focus most of your attention. But now, I began to see basketball as a dynamic game of chess in which all the pieces were in motion. As an adult, I've tried to break free from that early conditioning and develop a more open-minded, personally meaningful way of being in the world. Basketball is a simple game. Your goal is penetration. Get the ball close to the basket. And there are three ways to do that. Pass, dribble, and offensive rebound. Basketball is a sport that involves the subtle interweaving of players at full speed to the point where they are thinking and moving as one. Basketball takes place at such a lightning pace that it's easy to make mistakes and get obsessed with what just happened or what might happen next. Basketball, unlike football with its prescribed roots, is an improvisational game. Similar to jazz, if someone drops a note, someone else must step into the vacuum and drive the beat that sustains the team. But if a team doesn't have the most essential ingredient, love, none of those other factors matter. But trying to eliminate anger never works. The more you try to suppress it, the more likely it is to erupt later in a more virulent form. A better approach is to become as intimate as possible with how anger works on your mind and body so that you can transform its underlying energy into something productive. Coaching is about how do I get people to play at their peak level? It is a spiritual quest. And if it's not that, you don't have a challenge. You don't have a mission. Forming a brotherhood and trying to move it forward. That's what coaching is. Coaching is salesmanship. Coaching is winning players over and convincing them they have to play together. It takes a team conviction to play together to make things work. Even though the game itself is a five-person sport, the culture surrounding it celebrates egoistic behavior and stresses individual achievement over team bonding. From that point on, I felt confident enough to throw my whole mind, body, and soul into what I loved. And that, as much as anything, has been the secret of my success in sports. Good teams become great ones when the members trust each other enough to surrender the me for the we. Hearing the unheard 
That's a skill everyone in the group needs, not just the leader. I gave it my body and mind, but I have kept my soul. I mean the deep feeling of camaraderie that arises when a group of players makes the commitment to stand up for one another to achieve something greater than themselves. I think the most important thing about coaching is that you have to have a sense of confidence about what you're doing. I'm a patient person. I think that's one thing that I feel comfortable I can deal with, the downfall on the errors, as long as I see progress and people trying. I'm not trying to find answers anymore. I'm trying to live what I know. I've always wondered where that power came from and whether I could learn how to tap into it on my own, not just on the basketball court but in the rest of my life as well. If we can accept whatever hand we've been dealt, no matter how unwelcome, the way to proceed eventually becomes clear. If you give the future all your attention, the present will pass you by. In basketball, as in life, true joy comes from being fully present in each and every moment, not just when things are going your way. In basketball, you need to go inside first before you can go to your shooters and cutters for easy baskets. In the beginner's mind there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are few.